Welcome to Company of Heroes. Company of Heroes is a real-time strategy game that focuses on frontline combat, capturing key strategic points and leading your company to victory. Welcome to basic training. Welcome to basic training. This training exercise will cover unit selection, camera control, and basic orders. This training exercise will cover unit selection, camera control, and basic orders. This training exercise will cover unit selection, camera control, and basic orders. During the game, you will receive objectives to complete. During the game, you will receive objectives to complete. Here's an example. You can see your objectives listed on the left side of the screen. Here's an example. You can see your objectives listed on the left side of the screen. Here's an example. You can see your objectives listed on the left side of the screen. Moving your mouse cursor over the objective icon reveals its description. Moving your mouse cursor over the objective icon reveals its description. Try this now and move your mouse cursor over the objective icon. Try this now and move your mouse cursor over the objective icon. Good. If the objective is off screen, an arrow will point to it. For training purposes, the description and direction arrow will remain on screen. Good. Now, we will cover how to select units. This is a rifleman squad, the basic infantry unit. Note the rifleman icon and the squad's health bar above the unit. This is a rifleman squad, the basic infantry unit. Note the rifleman icon and the squad's health bar above the unit. In Company of Heroes, you issue orders to squads, not individual soldiers.
In Company of Heroes, you issue orders to squads, not individual soldiers. A squad needs to be selected before you can give them orders. Left click on the Rifleman squad to select it. Left. Fall in, Rifleman! Good. You can see they're selected by the circle on the ground around them. Good. You can see they're selected by the circle on the ground around them. All selected squads are shown on the selection panel in the middle of the taskbar. You can access the squad's abilities from the command panel on the right. You can access the squad's abilities from the command panel on the right. The mini-map is shown on the left side of the taskbar. It displays an overview of the entire battlefield. The mini-map is shown on the left side of the taskbar. It displays an overview of the entire battlefield. To get more information about anything on the taskbar, move your mouse over it. This will display additional information in the help text. To get more information about anything on the taskbar, move your mouse over it. This will display additional information in the help text. To get more information about anything on the taskbar, move your mouse over it. This will display additional information in the help text. Here's an engineer squad. Here's an engineer squad. You can select several squads at the same time by holding the left mouse button and dragging a selection box over both of the squads. You can select several squads at the same time by holding the left mouse button and dragging a selection box over both of the squads. Engineers, fall you can in. select several squads at the same time by holding the left mouse button and dragging a selection box over both of the squads. Head hut. Okay, men. About time. You can select several squads at the same time by holding the left mouse button and dragging a selection box over both of the squads. Engineers, eyes and ears. Excellent. You can see both squads in the selection panel of the taskbar. You can cycle through each squad in your selection by pressing tab or go directly to a squad by left clicking on their squad icon in the taskbar. Try this to cycle the rifleman squad. You can cycle through each squad in your selection by pressing tab or go directly to a squad by left clicking on their squad icon in the taskbar. Try this to cycle the rifleman squad.
You can cycle through each squad in your selection by pressing tab or go directly to a squad by left-clicking on their squad icon in the taskbar. Try this to cycle the rifleman squad. You can cycle good. You can now give orders to this individual squad and use their special abilities in the command panel. Good. You can now give orders to this individual squad and use their special abilities in the command panel. Left click on the group select icon to return to the group selection. Good. Good. Our engineers are being deployed elsewhere. We will now cover unit movement. All basic orders in the Company of Heroes are issued using the right mouse button. We will now cover unit movement. All basic orders in the Company of Heroes are issued using the right mouse button. We will now cover unit movement. All basic orders in the Company of Heroes are issued using the right mouse button. To issue a move order to your rifleman squad, right click on the indicated location. To issue a move order to your rifleman squad, right click on the indicated location. To issue a move order to your rifleman squad, right click on the indicated location. Squad, front and to center. issue a move order to your rifleman squad, right click on the indicated location. On our way. Good. In order to move units outside the immediate viewable area, you will need to pan the camera. Good. In order to move units outside the immediate viewable area, you will need to pan the camera. Good. In order to move units outside the immediate viewable area, you will need to pan the camera. Good. In order to move units outside the immediate viewable area, you will need to pan the camera. Moving your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen pans the camera in that direction. Try this now and pan the camera to the left. Good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Stay low, we're pulling out. Good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Let's go. Move on, men. Tactical spacing.
Good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Go! Move your ass! Ready to fight, sir. We're ready to move in. Halt. Just give the order. Good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Excellent. Now, order the squad to move here by right-clicking on the indicated location. Let's go. Yep, let's move. Good, good. Now you get the basic idea. Left-click to select units, right-click to issue basic orders. In Company of Heroes, you can rotate the camera to see more of the battlefield. In Company of Heroes, you can rotate the camera to see more of the battlefield. To do this, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and move the mouse to rotate and tilt your camera view. Try this now. That's it. To return the camera to its default position, press the backspace key twice. That's it. To return the camera to its default position, press the backspace key twice. That's it. To return the camera to its default position, press the backspace key twice. Excellent. You can also zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel. Try this now. Excellent. You can also zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel. Try this now. Excellent. You can also zoom in and zoom out with the mouse. Fantastic. Again, pressing backspace will return your camera to its default position. All I know is I have a rifle and it ain't for looks. Company of Heroes is best played from the default camera position. Let's move on out. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. To do this, right-click on the indicated position. Yep. 
Notice that as your squad moves, they reveal more of the surrounding landscape. This is the fog of war. Your units can only see what is immediately around them. Well done. Your squad is in position. An event queue has appeared on the left of the screen to let you know that enemies have been spotted. An event queue has appeared on the left of the screen to let you know that enemies have been spotted. Click on the event queue or press the space bar to focus the camera on the location of the event. An Axis patrol is moving in and trying to capture our strategic point. An Axis patrol is moving in and trying to capture our strategic point. Notice that enemy units are shown in red. Your units are shown in blue. Right-click on the enemy troops to attack them. Right-click on the enemy troops to attack them. Notice your mouse changes to an attack cursor as you mouse over the enemy squads. Enemy unit down. Good yeah. job. Now, let's get that strategic point back. Right-click on the strategic point to order your squad to capture it. Right-click on the strategic point to order your squad to capture it. Right-click on the strategic point to order your squad to capture it. Right-click on the strategic point to order your squad to capture it. Oh, we'll take Notice it your mouse changes to a capture cursor when you mouse over a strategic point. Point is Excellent. Ours. Like this now? concludes basic training. You've earned your stripes. You have learned how to select units, move the camera, and how to use the right mouse button to issue basic commands. Click continue to return to base. Click continue to return to base. Click continue to return to base.